Well, congratulations to NTV Uganda's Farida Nakazwe. She's pregnant. And I'm going to tell you that lucky man behind that pregnancy. Now, Bebe Cool has revealed that King Saha is a member of NRM, not NUP, as most of you guys thought. King Saha, we NRM. Now, you guys pray for Geno Moses Ali. Otherwise, his condition is not really good. I'm coming with the latest shocking news from his camp. Well, I'm welcoming you to another round of stories making headlines today and yesterday. However, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, before we go to the stories, uh, let me first pass this message from the Prime Minister of Uganda, that is Right Honorable Prime Minister Robina Nabanja. Wise and timely decisions. You know, a president must make decisions. That's why you must, this country needs a president who is sober 24 hours. <laughs> My brothers and sisters have been near the fire these days. You don't need a president that is not sober 24 hours, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the Prime Minister of Uganda, Robin Anabanja, making it clear that Uganda needs a sober president 24 hours. So as a Kosandi Ugandan, I thought it's very important to first pass that message to you guys. Okay, now moving on to our stories. Yesterday, the second deputy prime minister, that is Geno Moses Ali, collapsed inside parliament, raising more questions about the state of his health. Actually, he was struggling to exit parliamentary session when he fell down. Some members of parliament who quickly noticed that he was about to fall tried to prevent him from falling but unfortunately it was too late as you can see right there. General Moses Ali is 82 years and is a member of parliament representing the people of East Moyo County that is in northern Uganda. Actually in 2026 he will be making 86 years. However, a big number of Ugandans on different social media platforms have said it's time for him to go rest and enjoy what he has worked for in a long time. I don't know what you think, but yeah, that was one of the biggest stories yesterday and is still trending today. Now, in other news, UPDF through the Deputy Chief of Defense Forces, that is General Peter Eluelu, has apologized to Uganda police after a military officer assaulted a traffic officer. Now, General Peter Eluelu says, as UPDF, they are very sorry for what the military officer did and it will never happen again. Uh, he also revealed that the culprit has already been arrested and he will be arraigned in the courts of law and prosecuted. I want, uh, on behalf of UPDF, to sincerely apologize to the police and the people of Uganda for whatever happened. That um, soldier, uh, Private Derek Tumine, has been arrested. Now, relatedly, Kalungu County Member of Parliament, Honorable Joseph Sewungu, while in Parliament, asked General Peter Eluelu to arrest first son, Muhozi Kainerugaba, because he's busy campaigning, yet he's a serving officer of the army. Now, in his own words, he said, I want to send a question to you. You are the Deputy CDF. Can you arrest General Muhozi? who is masquerading around campaigning, and yet he's still a serving army soldier. However, General Peter Eluelu did not answer that question posed to him. Well, it should be remembered that last week, former Kawembe South Member of Parliament, that is Honorable Mubarak Munyagwa, asked UPDF to arrest General Mohozi Kanerugawa because he's breaking the law, but up to now, nothing has actually been done. <music> now, going to the stories making headlines in the entertainment industry, uh, yesterday, Bebe Kool endorsed Cindy Sanyu on the position of Wuma president. Now, Bebe Kool said King Saha has no idea of what the industry wants and called upon artists countrywide to vote for Cindy because she has been in the system and she knows how everything works. Anyway, 
buli lwe mulire mwa okuleta ba candidate abaina ebisanyizo ebi ebiyamba continuity ntino olese waliwo omuntu yesimbyeo aina experience mu office yo ajibaddem tetuganya ina mukobu chama then waliwo mpya atajina ko idea at all okay kati obudde tuina butono nnyo mu simuno what development oyagala okuwa ekifo omuntu oyo ataina kisanyizo atenga taina idea atandikire ku zero okuyiga nga yigira ku mwe ebintu tamayi bitambula takozati oba oyagala oyonjono aina idea abitegedde bwe bitambula naye akoze yenso bi musanvu omuyonje so bebe kulu nemva yone ngama nda kanyonjono already aina idea of what the industry wants now, Bebe Cool also revealed that King Saha is a member of NRM, not NUP, as most of you guys thought. Singa Saha ba sinze nyabali ndechi watuli. Era press conference nze ndiji kola. King Saha uwe NRM. King Saha, si watu bonga na hawe. Yaba gambe konta wakile NRM. <laughs> Nere ya rinimu. Sadala gena mu personal life ye kupa mwena mumanyi. Ne wa imiride. Wa imiride mchitibu wa chachi. Che NRM. Well, it should be remembered that legendary artists in Uganda like Dr. Jose Chameleon, uh, Muzai Moses Matovu and Bobby Wine all have endorsed King Saha for president. Now, the elections are happening on the 23rd this month and all the details will be right here on The Buzz UG. Now, in other news, uh, Bruno K has finally explained how his daughter Briella ended up staying with NTV Uganda's Farida Nakazwe. You know, there has been a rumor in the public suggesting that these two are secret lovers and that's why Farida Nakazwe is currently staying with Briella. But Bruno K has finally explained everything. Uh, Bruno K says after the death of his baby mama Rachel, he trusted no other person with his daughter apart from Farida Nakazwe. Now, Bruno K says Briella had had a good connection with Farida Nakazwe for eight months before the mother passed away. So it wouldn't really make sense to introduce her to another person and yet Farida Nakazwe was willing to take care of this young baby. <clears throat> so ninjugira ni mkwano kwa ngumu na kiliza the responsibility yeyo Farida na agamanti aja kubira mama we Kubira mama we kwa manye Farida Chino, Nchimanya wa ntuwa kina kuogira nyo hivi gambo binji but Mama wa Brela we ya fili miaka um, Brela was like two years old At, Within the two years she had spent eight months with Farida because before the mother died Because bampa Brela mama we ya mali banga dini nga mruwa dini wa mumpa Ni imbeira na hii so when I mukubera na because I'm really for Germany, I ran in Sabafari that I'm going to manage back home and on a very because I never into any jagala I go for get a man and jagala very company. Ni 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 ba ni ba ni ba sisters we ba 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 Balia because they literally her sisters now. Bamu agala nyu a very na buya. So she has been yego a maninga mama we. How has she done that? When I'm in a mikuano, ni na mikuano angi na kula na baba za teba kuziba baba za deba we. Abamu. Bakuzi baba auntie baabwe bakuzi ba mikwano jaba za de baabwe so it's the same thing uh, she's a parent atarumirirwa like yo muntu aino mutima yo mku bantu gwe manyi mu Uganda muna aino mutima omulunje so yatunulira omwana ali infant muto ni situation je alimu so we namusaba ni mugamba nga mukwano wa ine mugamba manyi <coughs> mwana muwala yitaga guidance no kumulaga so let's subira ntwa ro muntu ainzo so chikoro kujja ko gwe na kiriza te yagana so cha veri kusaba no mutima go mulunji yengo muzadde muli mwaba mwaba sinze no kunne misando zo funa omuntu gwembera nayo because muli awo munsibyeko muchana kazibwe fitwa kira ntwa gambo limu kwano gwange tena itabaga makombu twine echi ntwo nechi gena maso between us and also right now in the public there's a rumor suggesting that Farida Nakazwe is pregnant and Bruno K is behind this pregnancy but when Bruno K was questioned about this matter, he said he doesn't know that she's pregnant because I mean this is a private issue and at least for now he cannot tell. Sina zichimanyi kwecho because 
I am not her. If you want, you will go and ask her. That is her personal life. It's not my life. I don't know. If it's true, that's her personal life. Yes. Sina answer to yes. Well, there you go. That's Bruno K for you. Otherwise, if it's true that Farida Nakazwe is pregnant, ah, right here on the Buzz UG, we just want to say congratulations to you, Mama. We wish you a very safe delivery in adverse. Yes, yeah, so those are some of the stories making headlines from yesterday and today. And in case you have any comment, just put it down in the comment section. And most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.